Welcome to Scene Invaders. I'm Big Face. That is Billy. And we are going to review and discuss episode five of Rings of Power. I think we both liked it. I liked it a lot. What'd you think? I liked it, man. I liked it for a few reasons. What we had on screen and maybe more notably what we didn't have on screen, which made me actually really enjoy this episode, which leads <laughs> into a definite a further discussion from there but uh i'm just gonna say it man no hobbits no problem this show oh, without the hobbits and gandalf wow what a better show this is when it's just numenor when it's just the dwarves when it is just the uh Celebrimbor and anatar stuff who and I, i'm dreading now and there's there's just no way that they're not on next week's episode right next week's episode is almost going to be entirely them because at the end of the episode we got the orcs at a region they're like pulling up to a region already and i'm a Assuming that's going to be the last two episodes. So we're going to have an entire filler episode for next episode, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it could be a Hobbit episode. We could get a Region heavy, just one episode, maybe seven is like heavy on the battle. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of cutaway to the Harfoots or a Sealdor or maybe, like I said, more Numenor. Again, man, it's just a shame because like this was a great episode. It had a lot of tension. There was intrigue. We had some characters go out, had advancement in those plots where it's like, okay i understand now what farazan's getting at right they are kind of getting yeah. to it i love Elendil. the dude is awesome he yeah, is dude. Like a handsome action star he gets the oh captain my captain treatment from everybody <laughs> they are all about him again man it, it's just those storylines they naturally blend together. Even if they're not right now all connecting directly, they all seem connected to Sauron. What the hell do the Hobbits have to do with Sauron right now? And I think that's kind of the key question for the show, at least. We know it's going to happen in the movies, right? But like, why are we going to have three more seasons of Hobbits? It's kind of crushing my soul a little bit. I didn't really notice until you mentioned that there wasn't Hobbits in this episode and then watching the episode. Tonally, it just fits. I was in the same world, in the same story for an entire episode, which every time they cut away to the Hobbits, it feels like cutting to a different show. It's like a commercial break that never ends. I just don't care. Well, I already know where it's going. They're, they're going to form the Shire. And the, yeah, I said this in the last video, but the cool thing about the Hobbits is they have a purpose. And it's almost the crux of the entire story is like these unassuming regular people can make the biggest difference if if they like want to, if they try. And that's kind of the Lord of the Rings story, I guess. But it, it literally just feels like we have to have Hobbits in here because Hobbits were in the movies. Lord of the Rings is like if the Hufflepuffs took down Voldemort, right? That, yeah. That it's it's a feel good story but like I said in the last review we get it you could have had the Hobbit stuff not following them all around but you could have had a character even if it was a Gandalf type character or someone else later in the show they can cross paths with these people and can have a few things happen and have a, a one season storyline where by the end of it you're like oh those dudes are going to go found the Shire that's pretty cool I'm yeah. glad they did a Hobbit storyline during the show but to have them in like pilot and the whole thing through where I'm like, are you, we really spending the same? No, look, you know, everyone's going to know that by the time we've gotten out to these reviews, they're like, this guy doesn't love Lord of the Rings. He's a hater. I'm not a hater, but there's just <laughs> simple ways you could do stuff. Like example, we're talking about the dwarf stuff. Yeah. I, I don't know if this is the exact time where you have the gates of Doran, but it's a perfect level amount of member berries, just like the Ent wives last week. If we're going to accept the premise that we don't care about the timeline, like spoiler alert, guys, we were reviewing, we don't care about the timeline. Who cares? It, 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 it's yeah it's been, from the beginning of the show it's been shot they can't even mention things that happened before because they don't have the right <laughs> right so like let's just take this for what it is this episode had injury you had people die i don't care when it comes next week i don't care but in fact that even they had tom bombado last week and i'm not like oh, I, I can't wait to see i'm now tom was cool but like i don't want tom if i have to get gandalf there's a part of me that wishes they would only do tom for one episode he'd just come in make that little appearance and be like I do no exist, shot. but it's no not going to be that. No, no he's shot. He's Yoda. Yeah, he's Gandalf's Yoda. Man, if they don't do Gandalf and if they don't do the Balrog, I'll be so happy. I'll just cry with joy. You're doing what like, you know, what people do when they have like shitty parents. You're like, if he just comes to my game, <laughs> things are going to be better. But you know that Balrog's going to be there. You know it's going to be yeah. Gandalf. We've done this song and dance. Now, <sighs> again, that being said, like the stuff we got today was great. Like Anatar and Celebrimbor, like Sauron's great. He... He was like risen on that elf chick. 
He was spitting game. <laughs> yeah. And like she, she's like grabbing her hair. Know there's going to, like, I already, like, I think it's very spelled out that, like, during that battle or something's going to happen where, like, that elf chick could help either him or Kellen Brimbor. It's going to help Sauron because he was risen. Like, it's. And then he's going to kill her or something. Do you think when she goes to the spirit realm, she's like in in, in the in between, which we won't talk about how one of the rings does that because I'm almost positive the one ring. Yeah, it's cool. So she goes to the in-between world, whatever. It sees what she describes kind of sounds like the Belrog, but it's supposed to be Sauron, right? That she's seeing. Yeah, which is why he's slick, because he knew the second that she went over to the other side that she was going to see him. So that's why he brings it up that he's like, yeah, I saw him too. It's 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 Calabrimbor is the (laughs) big flame bad guy you saw. And she's like. Oh, that he was pretty good in this episode. All the way he's maneuvering and and kind of messing with Calabrimbor, I was like, oh, okay, this feels like a villain now. It doesn't feel like a guy who's almost omnipotent or endlessly lucky, like finding Galadriel in the middle of the ocean, kind of lucky. It yeah. it feels he feels like a well written villain in this episode, which I, I enjoyed a lot. It's slick. That's the whole thing. That's why Sauron's cool, and that's what they are doing right with this show. Sauron is supposed to be slick. He's supposed to know. He's supposed to be smart. And he is. They haven't had him be dumb. And I think, frankly, again, the biggest of the service that this whole show had is that they kind of did season one the way they did it. I really think they could have done a kind of um, prologue that led us right into the events of this season. Right. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we needed eight episodes or 10 episodes. And again, we, I enjoyed it for what they were last year, but you could have done a 10 minute prologue type thing and we could have been right into this season and that would have served this show so much better than people having to have done all those episodes going into the season yeah even if they compressed these first two seasons together i feel yeah. like that'd be a banging season like if you took all of it and ended with the fall of a which i'm assuming is going to be the yeah. end of this season 100 I, I would have been very invested and like okay we got the rings going we got like dwarves and conflict and Numenor and just cut the hobbits just to <laughs> save time. I feel like if you just cut the hobbit story, it'd be like a season and a half that we have so far. You have to decide when you're doing one of these shows, right? Like what you're going to do. And again, if you're never going to be able to fully satisfy the timeline purists, so you should and I don't think these are two different they're two different shows. But you can't do like what a Game of Thrones does, right? You can't just no. like have bang, bang, bang. The reason people hated Game the House of the Dragon this season was because they just like held up and tried to space shit out. It's like, no, just do what every season does. Just do a bunch of crazy shit every season. This yeah. is a television show. It's not a book. People have no attention span. It's not a movie. Everyone has yeah. their phones out while they're watching the damn shows. Like you need to get people going. And that's what, again, this is like, this show would have been great 10 years ago, even right. Like, oh yeah. Good TV oh, like started. HBO kind of thing. Yeah. And if this now you're, you're an uphill battle dealing with people, but I will say though, I did look into some of the stuff like the viewership's going up, like the viewership's yeah. doing very well. So show ain't going anywhere. No, I I read a thing today that was saying that they they're locked in for five seasons. Amazon was like, yeah, there's nothing that's going to change us not making these five seasons. I think it's just a crux of streaming shows, especially lately. They write them like they're movies, and episodes are just chapters of the movie. Yeah. Where I'm like, I do miss TV. Like I'm rewatching Lost and some old shows right now, and every episode fucking something crazy happens at the end because they want you to come back next week and there's just no feeling of that at all because you can binge i guess now so i agree i, yeah. I mean I'm, i've been watching a lot of like of banger classics like i just finished west wing again i Ooh. am watching friday night lights right now you know like i talk about great just beginning to end seasons of shows but like you said you can grab any episode of those shows and they have a beginning middle and end and they do progress an overall plot but you can just sit down and enjoy an episode of those shows yeah it'd be very hard for me to plop somebody down and this is a great episode but you couldn't just plop somebody down and have them watch the show be like it, what is yeah. happening <laughs> nothing would nothing would hook yeah you um, can do that with like a game of thrones you can get it you could get oh okay this guy hates this guy this guy that Maybe they're talking about this episode. They're like, why does this get, why do these dwarves give a shit about l- knocking windows into the mountain? <laughs> do you want to live in a mountain because you're in a mountain? Like, yeah, just- yeah, yeah. 
crazy ass. And let's let's get let's talk about that. Look, crazy greedy ass Duran. Again, the, the fact talk about speed lining through storylines. This guy put a ring on last week. He's now taxing people at fifty percent. He's now just banging in the walls, and everyone's like, "Oh, oh, dope." He's he set these rules for decades. And he's like, "No, dig deeper, cuz." <laughs> we're all kind of looking at each other and i'm like well any of you just say no like what is this guy gonna do if someone grab the ring and fucking throw it somewhere obviously he's yeah and it's it happened too quick because i thought that they worked pretty well until sauron started messing with them in the books right yeah this again this is the type of stuff where i don't care that it's not happening timeline wise accurately but storytelling wise yeah holy shit that was a big friggin leap the whole it's, point is that the dwarves and the elves are supposed to be like su- not as susceptible to the damn rings and then when you get the men that's when they become the oogie boogie monsters right <laughs> like that, yeah but these guys this, this bastard like i said he literally became like a neoconservative overnight he's like Golem. overnight he's taxing everybody left and right that scene where he just takes it off and puts it on the table and he's like, did you take my ring? I'm like, whoa, man. Yeah, I guess it kind of messes up the story for me. I I feel bad that I even know the story because I wish I was watching this fresh. But it makes a lot more sense to have them not be as affected. And then you don't have Durin already questioning the ring itself when he's supposed to be the one to pass it down because it's supposed to be passed down. I, I guess they can change canon in a sense like that, but it doesn't make a lot of sense that if he already thinks that this thing's corrupting his dad, they're all going to eventually find out that it's corrupted by Sauron, that they're going to just continue passing it down their family line and like, hold on to this. Make sure it's safe. Yeah, and Dissa mentions and makes him promise, like, you're never going to wear one of those rings, right? So we know what's going to happen. He's going to wear one of them damn rings and she's going <laughs> to yeah. dip or something's going to happen to her, right? Because he wore... What's funny is we like this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still a good episode. I feel uh, like if we clipped together, that'd be a good tip. You clipped all, all the bullshit. <laughs> you just saying, like, we love the episode. I, it's weird because usually the Kaza Doom stuff is what I like the most in each episode. Not the most, but it's the most stable. And then in this episode, it felt like the weakest plot point for me. Kaza Dumb. Yeah, I kind of flipped because usually every time I see Numenor, I'm like, fuck. Well, it's because the guy went greedy and insane in between episodes. Yeah, because there's so much of this show that I'm like, why the fuck are you showing me this? And then they speed run other stuff. I'm like, I want, I like, that's something I wanted to see. I kind of want to see him slowly go insane wearing the ring, but you, you sped run it between episodes. Also, I guess the making of the doors, you, you could speed run that because we kind of saw it last week. It was a yeah. little funny to me, though, that you can see the carvings in the stone and they're like yeah you can you can only see it when when it's hit by moonlight i was like i can i can see that right now and they're using it as a table later in the episode i don't know if you noticed that i said that to you last night oh (laughs) yeah oh yeah you did you were like dude bill i love that they have the door and i was like yeah but i'm pretty sure i saw it as a table (laughs) fucking crazy you just made these epic ass doors and just also they got a cat i thought wouldn't it have made more sense for them to go and do it at the mountain? Yeah, you'd think. You got to carry them all the way over there. Uh, that's what I assume they were. I figured they just carved it right into the mountain. And it was like well, a magical. Season one, right? Don't the drawers show up like carrying the goddamn table? I think that's in a season one scene. Don't they carry yeah. like a Oh, yeah. Table they, oh, life? fuck. Yeah. They give the elves a table, don't they? Yeah. Man, what like... the fuck happened in season one, dude? Wait, maybe they made that the. Maybe that table's the door. No, because it wasn't wood or it wasn't stone, was it? I thought it was wooden. All right. All right. See again, what's the point? Who cares? It doesn't even matter. Why was that scene even <laughs> in the fucking show? Man. Kaz a dumb. Make Kaz a t-shirt. Dumb. Kaz a dumb. <laughs> it's it's a damn shame because there's a part of me that just loves seeing this world in any way, you know? Yeah. That's so why getting I the member berries. Yeah, I'll keep watching it. Yeah, I'll keep watching it. I'll, it's the same reason I keep subjecting myself to these horrible Star Wars shows. Hey, you're talking to a guy that's like watched like 40 something seasons of Survivor, and I review ba- every <laughs> Bachelor season. When we know, I go into it knowing I'm going to be fucking mad and disappointed, <laughs> but I go anyway because it's the same thing with this. As long as it's, I'll watch a shitty Star Wars show, I'll watch a shitty anything show. I mean, whatever. I'm going to get run over tomorrow. 
Like, yeah. I don't fucking know. Like, I want to watch, I want to watch some shitty Star Wars. Like, fuck it. That being said, they should have done the Hobbits as a one season arc. You think they'll just end up at the Shire before the end of the show? There is, yeah, they're gonna. That's how it's gonna end. There is no way this show does not end with a rolling shot of the goddamn Shire. There's no but way it's not you the don't last think shot. I've been dude, I've been saying this that they announced the show. It ends with them rolling over the goddamn shire and we get do 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 paint the black uh, fuck. Dude, Man. dude, they're I dude, they're I, I I got conspiracy theories. This is the thing, right? They have the rights to shit. I don't know what else they have the rights to. I don't they don't think they have rights to the third age, like the Lord of the Rings timeline but i'll be damned i'm feeling like they're not going to try to throw money and try to get them right are they not going to try to harry potter this and do their own version of like the lord of the rings eventually who owns like, who owns the rights to lord of the rings right now there is a uh, something we can bring up like next video i'll send it to you in our chat but there is a wild matrix of how the rights are all split up between video games books media and then sub split up between like who has the first age the second age the first mm. age would be a sick kind of fantasy like anime would be sick like would be super dope because it's all like big monsters and dragons and giant spiders and gods fighting gods right <laughs> You can't do that shit on TV. Like, no. But I think, I mean, War of the Rohirrim's coming out in December. That's going to be sick. And yeah. Like, we can review that, obviously, when that comes yeah. out. But Any, anything else you liked in the episode? No, I love the fact that, like, we get Galadriel at the end, and it's, it's different than the Hobbits, where I'm like, shit, I did miss Galadriel. Galadriel's great. Yeah. Also, Elrond, I did find Elrond to have a... I wanted him to be like, I told you fucking so, when he's there like... I, he's like, Gil Gallant's like, I think Sauron might be <laughs> involved. He's like, no fucking shit, dude. I told you not to take these rings. <laughs> just kind of want him to fucking slap him. Yeah, no shit, dog. I just ran here. <laughs> ran here to be like, can you send back up to Eregion? And he's like, no... Nah. I don't think so, man. I think we're good there. Also, God. when did Sauron get an army? He's like, we can't fight Sauron and Adar. I'm like, well, <laughs> Sauron's got nothing. What are we talking he's got, about? <laughs> he's wandering around trying to make rings right now. I think you got some Sauron's time. Sauron's got a wig. <laughs> yeah. I, like, Kella Brimbor is like, God, it, there's kind of like a will they, won't they kind of dynamic going on right now. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's as much as, as, Anator, as, as Sauron's got going on right now. But well, we talked about the stuff in, in Numenor earlier about them getting their church service ran in on, <laughs> stomped out with, with Farazan's annoying ass son. And then we have this, this snitch daughter of Elendil. At least they made them relevant, right? There's two yeah. characters that had no purpose last season. Now at least it's, there's some dramatic tension involved. Yeah, it really just felt like they were holding on to characters that they knew were going to do things eventually. And just by the amount of screen time, you know they're going to do something eventually. But goddamn, man, I until this episode, I did not give a single fuck about anyone in Numenor. It, it made me a lot more interested in the Numenor storyline as well because I've been doing a lot of research and in my spare time about, you know, the books and what happens to Numenor. And I'm like, oh, oh this storyline's like, kind of sick i kind of want to see where it. this goes yeah that's fucking cool in the artwork you got like faces of gods in the tidal waves like i need that shit do you think uh, kemen is gonna turn into one of the ring wraiths i'll be honest i don't know off the top of my head if any of the ring wraiths are numenorians no i need that no 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 no. that's a guy that's gotta get impaled on a spike <laughs> drowned <laughs> then eaten by the eagles <laughs> then shit out then you know what i mean like that guy doesn't get then dropped in the mountain and that guy needs to be like something where it, it's like um Ramsey Bolton, right? Like that's yeah. like, the if this, this guy's already killing people off, like let's make him keep making him shitty, shitty, shitty him and fires on him and daddy's dearest. Both of them can get eaten by birds. At the end of the day, it's just no hobbits, no problem. No hobbits, no problem. Well, that's all we got for this episode. A lot of fun. A little more laid back this time. We didn't want to do like a whole breakdown review thing. Just more of a chat about the episode because who just gets to talk with friends about sweet shit like Lord of the Rings? Anyways, if you dug the video, hit the subscribe button below. We also have a join button. You could join our Discord for $1 a month. It's a lot of fun. We play Wordle. I don't because I, I don't get it <laughs> and I feel really dumb trying to get it. But if you want to play Wordle with Dan, come hang out. You can play Wordle. <laughs> we'll chill. Anyways, we'll see you guys next week. Come back for the Penguin. Come back for episode six of this. Peace.